Let's go. If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn education. Yo, One. yo. Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Which one you gon' pick? Whoa. Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Which one you gon' pick? Whoa. Is it metaphor? Is it simile? Uh-huh. Hyperbole? Is it rhyme? Whoa. Alliteration, repetition. You, you get, get a different, different one, one every time. time. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Do you have a personification? Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Yeah, Which one you gon' pick? Personification, I see more run. Is it your turn? Is it mine? I'm a monopia. You need to make sure you get all five. Uh, I'ma pick one person to ask for a card that's in my hand. Like, do you have a simile? You look like you have it. So you have to give it to me. No matter if it's one to four, the rules say you gotta give me the more. Let's go check your hand. If it's a card you don't see, tell me. Pick up poetry. Hey, pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Which one you gonna pick? Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Do you got an onomatopoeia? Pick up poetry. When it's your turn, you can ask. We're going win clockwise. If you get five of one card, that means one score. One point. If you run out of five cards, you pick up five more. Yeah, and by the end of the game, who's ever in the lead? Let's go. With the Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Which one you gon' pick? Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry. Which one you gon' pick? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. 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 Metaphor. It's raining cats and dogs. It's a figure of speech. That means it's raining hard. Yeah, pair of heavy rain. Two cats and dogs. Cause when it rains and pours, metaphor. Every four. Simile. You're bright like the sun. It's a figure of speech. Means you're intelligent. Comparing you to the brightness of the sun. Using like a raft to connect the points. Hyperbole. Got tons of homework. It's a figure of speech about my work to complete. I'm exaggerating. See, don't take it literally. 2,000 pounds of work is too much for me. Rhyme. I'm a pass every class. Yeah. Every day I get an eight, yeah. I'ma smile for a while. Yeah. A rhyme is when the sounds of the word correspond at the ending of the word or the end of the line. Let's go. I write with my red pen while reading rhetoric rigorously. As I repeatedly use all the initial sound, makes alliteration come about. Repetition. Don't stop, go, go, go. Instead of saying it once, I'ma say it some more. I said it three times to make sure it's emphasized. You repeat a word to make sure it's in your mind. Signification. Time flies is a figure of speech. I mean, time go by very quickly, but time is inanimate. Time cannot fly because time, time is not, not an animal. animal. All humans, so flying does not fix it. Time flies is a human characteristic. Oxymoron. Jumbo shrimp is a figure of speech that make opposites complete. Yeah. What jumbo shrimp does is cross the line. They put big and little together at the same time because jumbo is big and shrimp is little. Put them in the same sentence that is a contradiction. Anamanapia Boom That's the name of a sound that's always happened to spell how it sound like buzz or meow tap pow ow ow See, let me break it down, hold on, look, I'm about to break it down Anamanapia is not a word, it's a sound It don't begin as a word, it begin as a sound Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry Which one you gonna pick? Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry Which one you gonna pick? Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry Which one you gonna pick? Pick up poetry, pick up poetry, pick up poetry Which one you gonna pick? Pick up, 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 pick